Welcome back to Character Select. Could there be wolves? I didn't realize this was happening wolf dogs, right away. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride husky. dog sleds. I'm a musher. And that's you why I love Dog Sled Saga. <laughs> 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 Tyler actually suggested that between Metal Gear 2 and Metal Gear Solid, we play Dog Sled Saga. Nice. And be like, I'm Snake. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but eh, it didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, it's a cool little game, though. Right. I almost bought it, actually. It is a pretty cool game. It's very simple, but very... Oop, so calm. Wait. Oh. There's a bunch of secrets in this area. Oh, God. Fucking... Ration. Okay. What do you... What do you mean, like, walls you have to blow up or whatever? No, just, like, little areas that are hard to see, like this. You can actually crawl under here. And you have to in order to continue. Believe me, that fucked me up as a kid. Mm. Alright, that was a little wolf puppy. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus. No! Bad doggy! Bad, bad. No treats! No treats! Bad wolf hybrid. I'm leaving, I swear. Can can you not fight them? Why would I fight and kill a dog? What the hell's wrong with you? Uh Okay, alright. Are you still Dave? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> 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 Fucking dogs. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat some food here. Too bad you can't throw the food from ah! the Fucking Jesus. That oh, was God! <laughs> Get off of me! There we go. There's the Dave we know. <laughs> Fucking do Oh, hi, pupper. Oh, my God. Uh, he's apparently incorporeal. Oh, they can't attack me while I'm in here. That's lucky. Oh, fuck off. Oh, he likes Snake, Meryl. What's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Yeah, Snake is not good with dogs. Hold on. Not even a little. I think. So there's a trick that you can do, and I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but basically you can have the dogs pee on your cardboard box. <laughs> and if they do... And you use the cardboard box going through here, they will never attack you. Really? Yep. But that makes I, sense. I can't remember it. Alright, are you ready for some stupid shit? I love stupid shit. What? <laughs> this is just funny, don't worry. Alright, so there's the communication tower. And Metal Gear Rex is beyond the communication towers. Right, right at the storage facility. Or... I'll take point again. Oh, Stay back, go. okay? But the radar is working, and since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! Okay. Uh, while she is doing this... Oop. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Oh no, I remember this. It's like the swamp. Yep. However, you want to know something super funny? What's that? You'll see in a second, don't worry. Her, feet, her footprints will start to fade. So you have a limited amount of time to follow them. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> because what? of the way they're placed, you can just walk straight up. <laughs> it's the best. Wow. Meryl. What is it? Get down. There's a sniper. Meryl, get down. Hey, hey, why were you putting that down? Dude, Snake, you've got to stop traveling with women. And she's crippled. Remember, she said if she was going to be a burden, that we should kill her. Dude, he has got to stop hanging out with women. Leave me and run. Meryl. I guess... 
I am a rookie after all. Don't Man, try to rate in the tattoo. Even I know that. It's the oldest trick in the book. Bait. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. Yeah, you're kind of bleeding out a little bit. I was afraid. Just saying. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Yep. <laughs> My head. I'm starting to get a headache from all this bludgeoning that's happening. Yep. Go on living and don't give up. Because remember, the first two games were action hero movies. Yeah. This is a deconstruction me. of that. <laughs> Well, the first two might have been more than that if it not for the limitations of the technology. Right. What? Meryl. Damn. Snake, it's a trap. Duh. The trick to lure you out. The sniper's the repetition is a good way of getting through emotion, so, so it kind of makes sense. Don't do it. it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work sniper in pairs, but Wolf. this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so. Hey, I would get a ticket for that. Out that long. <laughs> Snake, can you see her from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must I'm... be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the I mean, I guess you can always get Marilla fell before she goes. <laughs> the position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Oh, no matter what, huh? Thanks. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You're trying to say I'm only interested in saving my own skin? Genetics don't aren't deterministic for fuck's sake. What the hell my genes That's look the whole like, point of this care. game is it's like on instinct. Like an animal? I'm oh, going for to fuck's save sake, Naomi. <laughs> don't need an excuse. Shut up, woman. <laughs> and I'm not doing She's it just... for someone else either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Yeah. All for all for snake, all for snake. <laughs> well no, because every time that he's <laughs> had another I, woman that I, I, I know. He's had know. to sacrifice the woman for the mission, and it's just never worked out well, so uh so we need to fucking leave. Oh god mine. And we need to leave mine. relatively quick because uh Oh, right, Autocon. Uh, what the hell is Autocon's contact? Uh, 141.12. Do you have that written down, or do you know that I've offhand? A I just remember. Rifle anywhere on this base. A sniper rifle? Meryl's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second-floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar. I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Uh, nothing. Okay. Okay. So we have to go all the way back. Are you serious right And now? there's a very good story reason why that happens. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Guess you should have waited to get pissed on. Yeah, well. Fuck it. Hi, puppers. <laughs> Going to stun. Well, I guess it's better than murdering them outright. That actually worked out pretty well. Nice. That did actually work out pretty well. Oh, they're just like literally sitting there, like, what the fuck do I do now? So yeah, Naomi is obsessed with <laughs> genetics and what ge uh, genetics mean for people and how they determine, you know, the Genome Soldier Project is basically giving people the genes that they need in order to succeed as soldiers. And Snake just basically took that theory and said, fuck you, I don't let my genes determine who I am. <laughs>
And that's the whole point of the game. It's the it's another way of doing the the uh, fatalism. Uh, basically saying, you know, uh, your fate is, you can determine your own fate. You don't have to have it predetermined by somebody else. Sure. So. That's what I would just like to point out that apparently uh, DCL's uh, Dave shaming has worked and he's now gone completely non lethal on the dogs. <laughs> I can't kill the fucking dogs even if I wanted to. Jesus. God, DCL's not even here. Oh, shit. Oh, no, don't set off an alarm. No. It's fine. You guys are leaving this door open suspiciously. I'm just saying. It's a tarp. It's a tarp. Oh, that was a cool perspective shift. Was it? Yeah, from the, the ramp going up to the catwalk that all looks two-dimensional from here, kind of. I guess. It's kind of neat. Oh, boy. All right, so we're back over. Oh, God. Mind detector? Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit, mind detectors! You know, gun camera does seem like ah, a. Jesus! Ooh, the natural next evolution of American technology. Sadly. I mean, we already have camera phones and. You know, so I think uh, gun camera seems pretty obvious. <laughs> Can we get a gun camera on a selfie stick? <laughs> it's my next. It's my next million dollar idea. The gun camera! <laughs> There's actually a gun that you can aim around a corner that uses a video camera to show you what you're aiming at. Oh, I think I saw a video on that, yeah. I want to say it's Israeli, but I could be wrong. Okay. Okay, good. The security system you, is disabled. You, you want to heal yourself in case you get murdered? Uh, or let me amend that so you're slightly less likely to get murdered. Jeez. Don't hold back, Howard. Tell me how you really think. <laughs> Click. One twenty-one is a weird number of bullets. Yep. I think this is a twelve oh. plus one round magazine. I was gonna say I think it's ten plus one because one twenty-one, one ten plus eleven. Yeah. I guess. So it must be ten plus one. Eleven uh, rounds. Okay. I don't think I can do anything on this floor yet. Nope, that is a level six door. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. No, well, we just want a sniper rifle so we can go save the girl who's apparently fine with bleeding out on the floor for a while. Well, so the thing is, if you hang around there and try to do something, the sniper just keeps shooting her, and if she dies, it's game over. Gotcha. Oh, that is the most disgusting bathroom I've ever seen. And I seen. suppose, you know, I you could... It doesn't take... I mean, it's... It's action movie enough to have a sniper who's good enough that could miss the vital, you know, arteries from that distance. That's not... That, that's action movie logic. It's fine. Alternatively, I left so they captured her. Oh, yeah. That's also possible. Wow. Stone cold. Fuck him. I ain't got time for no alarms. Stun grenade. Famous bullets. Chef grenades. Need sniffer. Oh wow, that gun does not have a lot of range, too. Nope. Boop. Nikita's. Nikita, Nikita, Nikita. Ooh, okay. Do, do, do. I'm feeling mean today. <laughs> Dude. Oh god. Where's he, Oh wow. He's dead. <laughs> y y yeah. I'd say so. Rockets exploding up your butt is generally not good for your health. I, there's certain circumstances where it might be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm specifically thinking of rocket jumping. Grenades. Well, grenade. yeah, but where the hell is the rifle? Uh, there, I'm I'm just screwing around trying to get supplies actually at the moment. 
Oh, it's right okay. here. Of course, there are lasers. PSG-1. Ammo port? It looks like the place is protected by infra- Yes, I know. Yeah, we know. I'm never gonna contact Nastasha in case anybody's curious. It looks like the place- Okay, for fuck's sake. He does say something. Here it goes. I was wondering when oh. the fuck he was gonna do it. You gotta we had to wait for the incoming call. Second you can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. So yeah, it's thanks, worth pointing Carl. out that the PSG-1 is a weapon made by Heckler and Koch. Or Coke, however you want to pronounce it. I don't actually yeah, know. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, it is a sniper rifle that is extremely accurate at limited ranges. Uh, for a sniper rifles, it's good to up like 800 yards or something like that. Okay. And whereas the standard sniper rifle costs maybe, you know, $5,000, $10,000 to be fully customized, a PSG-1 starts at $15,000. Why? And is extremely expensive. All right, but we're going to go in here for giggles. Go in here. Go in here. Remember when we killed Kenneth Baker in here? Mostly by accident. Right. I can go through this door now because it's a level four door. A four door. It's a four door sedan. <laughs> oh, these guys respond. Dicks. Uh. Doing much better with the stealth thing now. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it helps when you just shoot All the guys in the back. considered. Oh no. You you can't hear me, can you? He has such a weird way of running. Like he's very economical in his movement. I don't know if you notice that. Or maybe it's just me noticing that. Oh, and Kylan has lost his internet. He'll be back. <sighs> In the meantime, I will do a thing. Click. 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 <clears throat> do 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 do. Moving right along. Waiting for my friend. To show back up online so I can kill a girl with sniper rifle. It's cool, sweet little gun. Oh god. Man. These mines are no joke. Also, a snake can tank a claymore mine? Good show, old chap. Oh, now it comes oh, back. Oh, are you back? Oh, you just dis you disconnected Wait. entirely. Sweet. Maybe not. Ba ba da ba. So since this is mostly backtracking, I'm just gonna keep going until Kylan gets back. I can fill it oh, I think I'm finally here again. Hooray for bad internets! Oh my god, it's the worst. <laughs> so did you die? No. Oh, okay. Why that ration respawn? Oh, because I went far enough away. Oh, oh, cool. I didn't know what to do that. Yep. Apparently somebody was patrolling and was just like, huh, wasn't there supposed to be a ration here? Uh, I guess <laughs> I'll leave one for the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> he must have needed it. Somebody got into my secret stash of, of rations. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just get some more. Do do. Do do do. Wait. Uh, no, I need a six card. Never mind. There's uh, one more item on B2 that we can get, but you need a level six card to get it. And it's one gotcha. of the most helpful items in the game that I wish they didn't leave until halfway through the fucking game. It's mm. friggin' ridiculous. <laughs> right, okay, so now you can shoot a bitch. Now I can indeed shoot a bitch. Although, the sniper rifle is incredibly limiting for what it is. Uh, I'm oh, so we never finished the discussion about why that gun costs 15 grand. Oh, 
because Heckler and Koch likes to make extremely expensive weaponry. Is there, <laughs> is there like, is it like hyper accurate or something? Like, is there a good reason or is it uh, just... It has extremely good precision in its range, which okay. means that uh, first shot is very accurate. However, okay. uh, its range is limited compared to other weapons that are a similar price. Like, um, a 50 caliber fucking uh, Barrett M82A2, which is like the definitive anti-vehicle gun, um, and fires those giant rounds. Uh, the, even that thing costs like, you know, $10,000. So the wow. PSG-1 has not seen a lot of use. That makes sense. Crash in. Did I get hurt? I did not get hurt. Or unharmed. Until now. Bang! <laughs> oh, my face! Oh, God. There are no mines here now. Thank God. Oh, and they, they took Meryl. Yep. So there's the tower. There's the sniper. There she is. Alright. I'm gonna equip this. Or try to. Bum, 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 bum. Why does everybody have a longer life bar than me? It's making me feel a little inadequate. <laughs> You're not leveled up enough. Badly underleveled for the situation. What's that thing blinking on the left? Uh, it's a box. It's just rotating. Oh. So if you try to proceed up the corridor, then uh, she just shoots you. you. Get, yeah, you get shot to death. Obviously. So while you're here, you use diazepam. Mm -hmm. Temporarily stops invulner uh, involuntary trembling. Okay. And you can use the thermal goggles, but... Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. I'm using the what? wrong buttons. Jesus. My bad. Wow, you got shot. Ah, fuck you. You got shot twice. I'm using the wrong buttons to shoot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave, stop being bad. Wait for it. You can see her breathing. Yeah. Gotcha. Bang. Gotcha. Nice. So yeah, there's <laughs> actual like sniper tricks that you have to use here, and they greatly expand on the uh, the sniper battles in Metal Gear Solid 3, and it's one of the best fights in the game. Cool. But uh, this one is basically like an intro to first person shooting. Oh god. Ah, fuck you! No, I want to use a ration. Uh, it'll use it automatically if I get hit. Oh, okay. Ah, shit. You Boom, missed. right in the head. There it is. Yeah, this is an extremely precise weapon. I have to make sure that the yeah. reticule is actually lined that up. That is a tiny little... You can also hear the heartbeat. I can feel oh, it through yeah. the controller, too. Oh, nice. Ah, fuck. She's gonna get me. Damn it. You Damn can, it! You can scare her into going back into cover. Oh, that's good. Come out this side, I'm gonna get you. Or not. What the fuck? She's Stop fucking glassing me, bitch! Jesus! Huh. Nice that it provides you with infinite ammo. Uh, not necessarily infinite. Gotcha! Nice. Bitch. Good shot. Ah. I got shooted. I did get shooted. Uh, I'm basically way overdosing on diazepam at this point. <laughs> it's okay. He's got the genes of a soldier. Oh, so he's got plenty the of pockets, makes is what I mean. Much easier. Boom! Oh, yeah, that's much more precise. Gotcha. That's another boss battle. Nice. They took Meryl. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I don't know. I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's well, ask. Well, duh. 
if she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. Everybody's counting on me. It's getting really tedious. <laughs> so, it's hard to tell from the other perspective, but you can see now why this is a, basically a death alley. Uh-huh. There's no way that you can run up this alley with her shooting at you. Nope. Where'd you go? Snake, take. Yeah, I'm t I'm f where the fuck did she go? Alright, next time on Character Select, we'll find out what the fuck happened to Sniper Wolf. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Kylan. Yes. That was probably one of the more interesting boss battles, and we get to do it again. Only next time we're totally gonna cheese it in a ridiculous way, because it's gonna be funnier. <laughs> nice. Plus, you figured out the D-pad trick, so hooray for that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>